guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today in this video what we are gonna do is we are gonna deal with open weather map api uh, so we are gonna have a look at how the api returns the weather information for the particular city when we pass the city name so the uh, you need to sign into this open weather map api by simply providing your email id and once you sign in it gives you an api key that is the authentication key uh, using which you need to deal with their apis so when you click on api over here in open weather map api there are a whole lot of options which you can explore so we are gonna deal with this current api current weather data so just click on api docs you will get how to use this data so this is the api we are gonna use of open weather map api this is the link which i will give in the description of this video so what this api link takes as an attribute is uh, the app ID so the app ID you need to pass the app ID over here which you get after signing in so over here I am passing in my authentication key then we need to uh, uh, concatenate the another attribute so over here we I just simply write m percent and just pass in the queue and in the queue we need to pass the city name so suppose you need to know the weather of this city I am passing it over here as Mumbai which is located in India so I just hit enter so it should probably return me the weather information for that particular city so basically it takes two attribute the one is this app id and the second one is this q attribute so it has written the json data of in the it has written the weather information in the form of json data so you can see over here i'm using the plugin uh, chrome extension that is the json view that is why it is showing it in a very nice manner the json data which is retrieved by passing the city name to this api so we are now gonna write a python script so this is my python ideally so let's begin so first of all i am importing the request module in python then what i'm gonna do is create one url and over here i'm gonna pass that url for the apis just say this tell this we are gonna take the city name from the user so over here you will see i'm just passing the app id with the authentication key uh, that will be unique for your account and over here i'm percent q over here will embed uh, or concat concatenate the city which the user passes so i'm creating another name named as city another variable sorry and over here we will take the input from the user so over here input it should ask for city name city name just save this till now now what i'm gonna do is create a final url so i'm creating one variable named url and over here i will concatenate api address variable with the city variable so you can have an understanding that this url will be concatenated with the city name which the user passes in so over here what i will do next is just create another variable i will name it as json data so this variable should probably contain the json data which the api returns so request dot get in this get we are gonna pass this url so the url is the variable name which contains the final url this one so now the json just hit enter now what i'm gonna do is just print this json data variable to have a look at how what the api returns so just save this go to run run module so it should probably open up the python shell i don't know what problem is this In the first time it isn't stuck it should last for city name so we are entering a city name named mumbai so just hit enter you can see the json data is being sent uh, by the api so 
I want to display suppose a particular information so suppose I want to display uh, weather and inside the weather I want to display this main only the thunderstorm whatever value is there with the main attribute so what I will do is just go to my python script over here you can see uh, uh, weather contains a list and in that list we want to access the main attribute so what I will do is create another variable over here named it as formatted data equals suppose json data so over here json data is this variable which contains the json data so we want to access weather and inside weather we want to access this main so this main is uh, this weather contains a list you can see this list and inside this list there is one dictionary this is the dictionary so this is the first dictionary inside this list so what we will do we will pass the index we want to access the 0th index because it is the first dictionary within this weather list so we want to access this main so now we will do is so we want to access the value inside the main so just save this and over here we want to display formatted data so just save this click on run module so I again pass the city name just click enter you can see we are accessing this thunderstorm uh, so suppose I want to access this description so simply change this main just save this sorry just run this just hit hit enter you can see the description is being displayed so I hope you have got a clear understanding how to deal with open weather map API and if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for like uh, watching this video do like it and share it with your friends till then take care thanks a lot